Hello, Jim Martin here, Park Angel number 11 with the Charleston Parks Conservancy. There are scary things happening in the garden this time of year. Many of us have loved ones who decide to profess that love by doing some pruning in our gardens for us. Unfortunately, when we come home from work, what we find is one of the scariest scenes that you've ever seen in your life. Here we have a perfect example of what can happen when pruning goes wrong. Notice the plant that we have in front of us that we're not actually sure what this started out to be. Well, this used to be, or actually it still is, a sago palm, uh, a very popular plant in the uh, low country landscape. And you can see that someone had a very interesting afternoon attempting to prune this palm. So the damage has been done and now we have to decide what can we do to this plant to shape it up Go ahead and take the improper uh, pruning and prune it proper. Uh, keeping in mind that the, the first thing you want to do is don't panic. Plants grow. And this one will also recover from this um, unfortunate incident. But, so right now all we want to do is go ahead and clean the plant up, um, do what we can to make it uh, as uh, appealing as it possibly can be in this uh, unfortunate state that it is in at this time. Also, we're going to try to remember to use the right tool for the right job, and that's something that we always do with pruning. So we're going to decide that because of what we have here, we're going to go ahead and use um, a pair of pruners to take care of this job today. And the most important thing that you can see, we don't, we're not sure what tool they use to prune this, um, but we know for sure that it was not the proper tool or the proper way to do it. What we're going to do now is just basically go ahead and prune the rest of this off um, down to the, um, the center of the plant. So we're going to go in and basically we're cleaning it up. We're going to pull all the leftover pieces and parts that were left behind. Uh, we're going to remove those. And as you can see, very simple. Isn't she beautiful? We took her from the poor state of having gnarly growth, hanging out, debris stuffed inside the poor plant, and we've totally cleaned to the point where, even though, let's face it, it isn't a thing of beauty yet. It will be this coming season. As the weather warms up, um, around this area right here, the plant will send out all new fronds, uh, probably late May, beginning of June. And remember, scary things are going to happen in the garden once in a while, and sometimes there's nothing you can do. But the first thing to remember is don't panic. The second is take a look at what's happened and make some decisions on how you can clean it up the best that you can. And the third is remember, plants grow, and before you know it, it won't look scary any longer.